Good morning, uh, fifth graders. It is, um, hold on, <laughs> let me find out what, it's Thursday, May 21st, and we are on week three, day three. Week three, day three. These pages aren't numbered, so it's rather tricky. Week three, day three. All right. So let's take a look. Place only a plus sign or a minus sign in every one of these black things here, <laughs> space, I guess, uh, uh, to make the equation true. Okay, so we have we're either going to have plus or minus. Okay, so it has to equal ten. Well, I can see, wait a minute, let's see, let's try this. Let's just play around with it a little bit. Um, hold on. Okay, well, they uh, put a question here that really is more for sixth grade math, but I'm going to teach it to you. I don't know if in Mr. Miller and Miss Nash's class you've done integers yet, but you know what a typical number line looks like. So this is zero. And then we would have, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten. All right. All right. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now, here's the thing. Integers, you also have negative numbers, and I don't know if they, that you've been taught this yet. You will in sixth grade, but they threw it in here. Um, negative three. All right. Let's just and and this would continue on negative four, negative five, negative six, etc. All right. So the way we're going to do this is if we did two minus three and then plus five and then plus six. Well, see in our order of operations. Okay, we know that we have to do, you know, you have P, E, M, D, I, all right, here, let me see, P, oh, goodness, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. All right. Okay, so multiplication and division have equal power when they're the only thing in the problem. And addition and subtraction have equal power when it's just addition and subtraction in the problem. So in this one, you've got addition and subtraction. Well, just because the addition is first, when it's just addition and subtraction, you just go and do it in the order, don't erase. Tony race. Oh, do it in the order that is there. Okay, so we're going to say two take away three plus five plus six. Well, you're thinking you can't do two take away three. Well, when you get into integers, you can. So let me show you what I mean. Here's a positive two. Okay, if you take away three. You go this way, one, two, three, and you get to negative one. Okay, then when you add five, a positive five, you go this way, one, two, three, four, five, and then add another six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's how that works, and um, that's a little tricky if you haven't had integers yet. Uh, if you have, then you will understand this better, but really that's usually a sixth grade um, standard, but 
I threw it away in there for the fifth graders because you are almost sixth graders. All right, guys, let's uh, move on to the next one. Uh, erase that, take off that, and move it up. Which one doesn't belong? Choose one graph in this picture that you don't think belongs with the rest. Explain why. Can you pick another graph and give a different reason? Okay. All right, so you, we've done several of these, which one doesn't belong. Um, you could say this one doesn't belong because it's blue and the others are green. Okay, so you just go ahead and pick one that you think doesn't belong and tell why you think it does not belong. Okay. All right, I'm sorry it's late. <laughs> All right. And as long as you can write a sentence, don't just pick one. You have to write the sentence. You know, this one doesn't belong. If you want to number them so it's easier to explain it, one, you can do that. Two, three, four. One doesn't belong because it is shaded with blue rather than green. Three doesn't belong because its shape is a square instead of a circle. Whatever you come up with, okay? All right, let's move on. Ah, another one of these. We love these, don't we? All right, so visual pattern. Below is a pattern of circles in stages one. Oh, my goodness. Oops. Oh, wait a minute. Go away. Where'd the highlighter go? Oh. Am I stuck with the highlighter on there? Hold on. Oh. Oh, I hi oh, there we go. Okay. So, um, we've done a lot of these so far, haven't we? All right. So, this is stage one. This is stage two. And this is stage three. All right. So, we start out with three and then two, uh, one here and one here. So we started out with this from one, three here, and then these two. So it's just adding one, isn't it? So on here, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, this is two right here. And then we just added one. So what will stage four look like? All right, so let's see. Uh, this is three, one, two, three, four, five across. One, two, three, four, five. And then one here and one here. All right, that's stage three, right? One, two, three, four, five. So we have to add another one for this to be stage four. You see that? So now it says to label how many circles are in each stage. Okay, so one, two, three, five. I'm gonna use a different color. Five. Oh, that we can't see. Uh, let's do this. Five. So we added one. So this is six. So this is seven. And this is eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. So this one has eight. All right. Okay. Draw what you think stage four might look like. Label how many circles are in each stage. Huh. Well, there's actually more, um, but they didn't put it on here. Um, so actually, they did not give you all the directions, guys. Because actually, this is supposed to be in fourths. So one, two, three, four, five times four. So they are asking for 
fourths. 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, of 6 times 4, so this would be 24, sorry, they didn't make that clear in the directions, that's for sure. 7 five times 4 was 28, and 8 times 4 is 32. Um, because we're going up by 4, it's 32, because we have 8 times 4 is 32. So the way I should have drawn these, and these, this is awfully teeny tiny, but you see there were these are in fourths. They did not make that clear in the directions, did they? But I'm seeing it on my side. All right, so these were actually fourths. That's what they were asking for, but they sure didn't make that clear, did they? All right. All right, so, well, that's all they asked us to do. So, that's it. <laughs> um, draw what you think stage four might look like. Label how many circles are in each stage. See, now that's really confusing because they said circles, not fourths. But on my paper over here, it's talking about the fourths. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. All right, uh, that's it today. Hold on. <coughs> Sorry about that. All right, so <coughs> that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. Bye.